Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, you know, with uh, yesterday's uh, yesterday's Tuesday's Patch Tuesday update this week, um, of course, there was a big one this week, so it was longer than usual to install on many PCs. I've got actually two cases of comments today about uh, computers not booting up because they thought it was too long, and they pressed the power button to shut down the PC in the middle of an update. Remember not to do that ever, ever, ever. It takes a certain time for some updates to install. It can take a long time on old PCs. There's just nothing to do but to just let it do what it has to do. The uh, various reports that I got from people giving me some time of how long it took on their computers uh, range from anywhere from like my PC, so maybe five, ten minutes, up to you know more than an hour on some. I've uh, have one PC here with an old hard drive that took probably something in the uh, fifty uh, minutes to an hour before it was okay and restarted. And of course, a lot of PCs today don't have that hard drive light, and this is something that I always have um, found very useful on PCs and it's sad that because they want to save you know uh, a nickel um, that they don't add that light because the hard drive activity light is a great indicator you, when you think your PC is not doing anything at least you can look at that and see if it's doing some activity and you know it's working but unfortunately a lot of PCs don't have that today just leave it alone and do other stuff. Now, you did it and you can't restart. Um, there are a few things you can do. You can hold the shift key while restarting your PC. Or you can just press, if you're stuck in a restart loop, at some point it's going to give you recovery options. And in these recovery options, one of them is the ability to reset the PC that you can try. Also, um, it might be possible that you just need to have that image from Windows 11 or Windows 10, depending on what system you're using, and restart from that also. Uh, unfortunately, if you break the Windows install because of a Windows update that you stopped in the middle, um, it's something that you need to work on getting back your system working. And if it doesn't boot, of course, and if it doesn't give you any options, that's when you need that image that Microsoft actually has on its website where you can actually use a USB thumb drive to um, try and restart your PC from scratch. Remember, a lot of PCs have recovery partitions. That means that there's a lot of PCs that you can actually um, boot from and with a F key go into the recovery partition that that manufacturer has made for your computer. That will bring it back to its factory reset. But uh, the main purpose of this video is really to tell you, do not stop updates in the middle of them. Lead, let it do what it has to do. One of the biggest problems, I think, that you know, time is very relative depending on what you do and how you do it. And that relative time means that there is that moment where if you just stand there and look at your screen, you have the impression it's much longer than it actually is. So just, you know, leave the PC alone, go do something else, come back an hour later or something, and see where it is at. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.